Hi everybody and welcome to it. I am so excited for you guys to see this video today. Like seriously, so excited. So I'm going to show you guys how I digitally plan my life out and I'm going to be giving you guys a free planner. So I promised you guys a long time ago that I was going to be making a digital planner and releasing it when I hit 30K. And now here we are almost at 70K and I am just now releasing it. So I just wanted to apologize for that and how long it took me. Before we get into this, I just wanted to let you guys know that you do have to watch to the end of this video to be able to access the digital digital planner for free because the digital planner is hidden in a part of my website that you have to have a password so I tell you the password at the end of this video so yeah. Also, if you do choose to use my free planner, make sure you take lots of cute little pictures and post them on your Instagram stories and stuff because I will be reposting a couple cute ones. Alright, let's just go ahead and get on into it. Alright, so first we're going to go over what kind of app you need and what devices you can do this on. So you can actually digitally plan on an iPhone, iPad, MacBook, or I believe like the iMac desktop system and stuff. So I think it's super nice that you can do it on any device and you don't just have to have an iPad. If you don't already have it, you are going to have to purchase and download the GoodNotes app, which you can get on all those devices. It is between like seven or ten dollars I think um, so you do have to pay for it but seriously getting this app makes your whole experience with digital planning a lot better. There's a bunch of things that you can do with it and it just makes the planner work to its full capacity I guess. I did try to download Notability and use it but it's just not the same. It doesn't let you do the same things and have the same features and everything so you can't do all the cool things with the digital planner um, and it's also just not as user friendly but you guys can still try it if you're really not wanting to buy good notes. <laughs> but yeah, so those are just the technical details just so you know you can do it on any device So now I'm going to go through each device and how you can set it up and then get it to start working And then I'll do like an overall like flip through and how I personally use it So we're going to start with the iPad right now And then we're going to move on to iPhone and then MacBook So I'll put the time cards here so that you guys can skip around to those points because if you don't have an iPad Why watch the part on how to set it up on an iPad? So just skip to the part where you have your device and yeah so what you'll need to first do is go to my website and download the PDF file off of the website and save it to your files on your iPad. And so here it is right here and what you'll do is I like to go select, click it, and then go down here to share and then it gives you a bunch of options. And right there is if you wanted to try Notability, it doesn't really work. And then mine right here just says open in GoodNotes. If for some reason yours doesn't have that button down there, you can go more and then copy to GoodNotes. So I'm going to go ahead and click open in GoodNotes. Open. So we're going to say import as new document and then just save it to my documents. Okay, so when you first get into the app, it's probably going to have your little toolbar up here and if you try and click on the links and stuff, they're not going to work. So what you need to do, this is literally the most important thing out of this entire video, um, to be able to access the links and switch between tabs, you need to go up to this button right up here and turn off the pen. So then it'll let you, so we'll go to June and it'll take you to all the different Things. So that's just how you can download this and import this into your GoodNotes on an iPad. Um, skip to this part of the video to skip over the next couple parts and head right to how to use it. Okay, so to get this onto GoodNotes on your iPhone, you'll first need to download the PDF file off of my website and put it onto your iPhone in your files. Just save it anywhere in your files. So what you'll do is you'll open up that file, go down and click the share button. So then you should have some options down here. You're going to want to click open in GoodNotes and if that is not there for you, you'll need to to go over here, scroll over, and click more, and then find GoodNotes, wherever it is, and say copy to GoodNotes. So we're gonna go ahead and say open in GoodNotes, open. Okay, so now we're just going to import as new document. So here we have it. And I just wanted you guys to know real fast that um, if you try to navigate between the tabs with the toolbar open, it's not going to work. It's just going to be writing on the planner. So to enable that, you need to go up to this top button right here and turn off the toolbar. So then it'll allow you to switch between tabs so you can go and say, Let's go to the mood tracker and there you go. So if you're just looking for the iPhone and you're not looking at it, how to do it on the MacBook or the iPad, go ahead and skip to this part in the video because that will show you guys how to navigate through and how I use this digital planner. All right, and lastly, we're going to show you guys how you can set it up on your MacBook. So I believe this will work the same for the iMac desktop. So you're going to need to first go to my website and download the file off of my website and just save it somewhere to your laptop. And then you're going to need to open up the GoodNotes app and you can download this off of the App Store. So what you're going to want to do now is go new 
and then you're going to find import and then you will find that file wherever it is on your computer and open so then there it is and to be able to use this toolbar will be up here in this little corner I do want you guys to know that if you have the toolbar open um, and you try to like navigate on the pages the links are not going to work because you have your toolbar open so what you're going to need to do is turn off the toolbar up there by that button and then once that toolbar is off you will be able to navigate between all the tabs all right so now we're going to talk about how you guys can navigate around this planner and how I use it so this is the front tab just saying welcome to 2020 this planner does only go to the end of 2020 just so you guys know and then up top I have a to-do list and a mood tracker which we'll get to eventually so you can swipe between tabs or I have everything linked up at the top so let's say I needed to go to the index I can tap that and it'll take me to all the different things and say oh I need to get to September okay so you can go and click around um, I did kind of mention this earlier but if your toolbar is open you're not going to be able to use the tabs it's going to draw on them instead so what you need to do is have the toolbar off and then you'll be able to move around so just so you guys know and then another way to get around your planner is to go up to this top button but that is going to be kind of confusing. So after the homepage, we have this nice little intro. Just kind of telling you guys about myself. I have all my different platforms linked. So if you wanted to go to my YouTube channel, you could find that easily. And it's going to take you right there. Um, and then next, I have the index like I showed you. So you can click on any of these tabs and it's going to take you anywhere. So let's just talk about a month first go to June. So here is my June calendar so far. I have all the dates. Really quick because I know I'm going to get questions on this. Um, if you guys didn't know, you guys can add your own colors to GoodNotes. So you do that by finding the hex code. So what you'll want to do is you look up like a aesthetic. What you're looking for is just a strand of numbers. Okay, so once you type in that hex code that you find off the internet, you'll click add to presets. So you can either zoom in to write or there's this little thing over here that you can also use film video. So that's just how I write on the planner and get my own little colors. That's the June monthly spread and then you can also swipe over and find the weeks for June. I have when I need to film things, um, I had a hair appointment today, and there's other blank slates. So what you'll need to do is go up here and write whatever the dates are. So then there's a couple of those there for the month. And then if you swipe over enough, it'll be the next month. So if we go to July, all right, no. So that is the tutorial really of all the monthly things. You guys can really get the hang of that and figure it out. And then at the top, I have some more of the more like fun and creative things. So you guys know me and my to-do list. Um, I love being organized. So I made you guys a little tab of to-do list. So there is just one page for the to-do list. So you'll need to erase whatever you had the previous day and rewrite um, every day. Okay, so that's just a quick little to-do list, and then you can go and check off certain things. The next we have a mood tracker, so for this you are going to need to make your own key based on whatever your emotions are. So, let's say relaxed. And then you'll go and make your own color. So this is completely up to you. You get to write in the month, you get to write in what emotions and what colors you do. I'm honestly a pretty like happy person overall so mine's kind of boring. Um, so that's that. That's super fun. And then again the index so that you can skip around. The GoodNotes app itself is pretty self-explanatory. All the tools are easy. Um, there's a highlighter so it'll you can highlight over something and then it'll go behind whatever text you had. So I like the highlighter a lot. And then yeah you guys can really just do whatever you really want with this planner. Alright so to get this planner for yourself, you're going to need to go to my website, which is www.juliekchris.com. I will also have it linked up in a card up here and then also in the description for you guys. So what you'll need to do is once you're here, you'll either need to go up to the top where it says design freebies or the button right here that says looking for the free graphics. So then it's going to take you to all of my freebies um, and then there's going to be a nice little 
picture just like this right here that'll say digital planner and you'll click that and then that's going to bring you to this nice little page right here and you're going to need to enter a password and that password is free planner in all caps <laughs> and from there you'll just download it and save it to your files or whatever and you're good to go don't forget to follow me on Instagram it's Julia K Christ also don't forget to take pictures and share this on Instagram if you put it in a story I might be reposting a couple of them so I'd love to see you guys using those don't forget to hit that subscribe button it would be amazing if you could do that in exchange for the free planner I also put so many other free graphics out on my website all the time so it'd be great to have you here in my little community if you guys have made it to this point in the video comment hashtag digital planning make sure you put the hashtag in there so that I know that you are a real one and you watched all the way to this point in the video and yeah make sure you guys are here on Sunday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time because that is when I'm going to be posting my first ever wedding video vlog where I show you guys the behind the scenes of my first wedding videography job but yeah that is pretty much it have fun with your new free digital planner and I will see you guys on Sunday